Okay. I finished all the railings and I got a fair bit of touch up painting to do. Um, super glue really does leave a bit of a, a sheen on everything, so I'll be touching up the rails and some of the platforms. But all the curves were done with basically using the ends of paintbrushes. Uh, literally counting off all the rails to see where they go. Um, I really didn't have much problem with it. Um, the only thing I've noticed is they don't supply railings for the rest of the ship. So for the up outside parts, the, the bow, aft, there's no railing. So in a way I'm sort of glad because it would have been a pain in the butt to um, try and put this section onto my ship every time I wanted to change the battery or turn it on and off. Now the only parts I've got left to do is put on all these parts here which are all pre-painted and, and finished. I've got the lights to put on but I think I'll give that a bit of a touch up first. So I'm just going to spend the next couple of hours or hour or so I guess it's not going to take that long to touch up the ladders and parts that now if you notice that part there is a bit blotchy and same with the other side I glued those little boats there and there in the wrong place I had to break them off and replace them so that was a bit of damage I uh, painted over it, I tried to sand it and try to remove the, the, the CA but oh. but from a distance yeah you can see a little bit of damage there but I'm pretty happy all up um, so the, glue, the guns are all glued into place and um, like I said, I've just got now the quads. I'm just going to um, think not even bother with the PE for that. It's just too much out of my skill ability. Um, I'm just going to paint them up the way they are and pop them on. And I really don't think from a distance viewing you're going to notice much difference unless you want to go right up close. So I'm just going to paint them up and put them in their positions. And basically once this is all, all the little parts are put on, I've got the main tower to put to get together and that one which was done ages ago to glue on. And basically she's, oh no, with the bottom half of the hull, I still have the decals to put on and um, also have the anchors to put on and that's about it. Oh, of course the propeller which hopefully this week I will order. So um, I'll get on with um, getting all the little parts out and uh, we'll be putting parts on. Okay, my little guns have been finished off. They looked a bit plain, so I actually put, well, this is how tiny they are, very fragile. I actually glued the platforms, the PE platform to them. I've got 11 of these to put on throughout the ship. Now, because they are so tiny, I will put them on and then show you later. Because um, literally, um, tweezers really don't cut it. I don't know how many, they're so fragile. I actually broke four of them. They fell apart on me. I had to re-glue them and put them back together again. So, um, here we go, a bit of light. Um, I'll try, and, I'll put them on and then I'll show you. Now, yeah, I've glued all the quads on and the doubles. Um, let me see them. Then the center, both sides. 
all the lights have been put on um, and I'm really quite happy with that um, I'm about to glue on the tower and that tower and I think apart from there's these two holes here which I gotta see what they're for but apart from that I think pretty much this part here is finished okay I have to record this bit this bit here this is where the main part goes on for this moment for a long time. Oh, foot on the hole. Can you believe it? Alright. That is it for that. Awesome. Ho, ho, ho. Excited. Yes I am. Back in a minute I've got to get some more parts. Okay, let's put the lid on this thing here. Okay, what's that on? Okay, can you pass me those two parts over there, please? Thank you. Alright. properly okay, so piece on there and for the piece of rest it for that part there now that is seriously awesome all right I've got a lot of the reach out of going get 
goes right there, so I'll go and get that. Now, this is the one I dropped, but I fixed it, so I'm quite happy the way it turned out. So, I'm about to glue that one on now. Just gently, because that brailing is so delicate. All right, everything's facing the right way, yes. Yes. Bit excited here. It's taken a while to get to this. This looking like this. I'm really quite impressed. Still, still got to put a dot of green and a dot of red for the, the lights. Now I've got to touch up this one here, the railing, I don't know if I point to it here for you, but that one there, as I pulled it off, the glue, t I just, it literally crumbled on me and I, need, I had to pull it off, flatten it out, re-roll it, so it's literally got to be repainted. Um, but... That is just awesome. Alright, the only thing I've got left, left to do, let that dry, is put the, um, the antennas on. I'm going to put the right ones on the right places. Thing is, still I've got to find them because I put everything away, all over the place, in the boxes. But anyway, I'll be back. Okay, let's put the rear aerial on. Whoa, okay, let that glue. Now the only fiddly tiny little thing I've got left is I'll show you later. This tiny, tiny one that goes right up the front. And that is just icing on the cake. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't, I'm just going to let it dry because it's sitting straight and proud. But um, guess what? But I think the superstructure is finished.
That's just cool as. All right. Okay. Something that I forgot to show last um, episode was the LED lights working. So basically, I haven't got the front guns on because every time I put the, it on and off, I break something on it. And um, due to the fact that I haven't got the propeller on yet, I really don't want to put anything on those forward and aft decks. So, um, you can see that there's a bit of a redness coming through, but I'm just about to turn off the light. So if you give me a second. Oh well, I mean, you can see them. You can see like one or two portholes. One to the back. Somehow you can see them pretty clear. But the ones in the bridge, actually, you probably see them better. With the light on, then what you do. Where's the camera? Oddly enough, it works better with the lights on than what it does 